On Sunday, millions of Nicaraguans will head to the polls and the world will be watching. Longtime President Daniel Ortega expected to win following a major crackdown on his opponents and democracy. Local 10's Hat Silvella following this story for us for months now. He's in Little Havana with what's happening right here in South Florida. A lot happening here in the Nicaraguan exile. In fact, we can see some Nicaraguans have come to the consulate here posting up signs saying the Ortega government is stealing the election. Some in the international community are calling it a sham election. In Nicaragua about to be in the spotlight Sunday when millions are expected to head to the polls. And the once revolutionary Daniel Ortega is likely to win again for the fifth time, mainly because critics argue he has jailed all of the prominent presidential candidates. Today we spoke to Berta Valle, the wife of Felix Maradiaga, one of the presidential candidates who remains behind bars. He was taken um, away from the car in a very violent way. He was beaten and he was disappeared. El no puede For 84 days, Maradiaga was MIA, not seen by his family and attorneys. Finally, he was able to see his sister and described cruel conditions where he was subjected to daily interrogations. Maradiaga is one of seven presidential candidates either in jail or house arrest in Nicaragua. So how can we talk about elections when we have our candidates in prison and the only political party participating in the ballots are the Sandinistas and Daniel Ortega? The Nicaraguan opposition is now refusing to participate in what they're calling a fraudulent election. They're calling on the international community not to legitimize the election. In South Florida, members of the exile community are planning their own events to protest the Ortega government. On Sunday at 11 a.m., there's a march from the Nicaraguan consulate to nearby Jose Marti Park. At 1 p.m., there's a mass at St. Agatha, and from 2 to 6, a sit-in at Ruen Darío Park on Flagler and 98th Avenue. Members of the opposition are hopeful that the Organization of American States takes action at their next meeting. That's happening on November 11th. Reporting from Little Havana, I'm Hatsofala, Local 10 News. Hatsol, thank you.